The world is very different today than it was 10 years ago, five years ago, and even a year ago. Uh, people who are graduating from college, students who are graduating from high school uh, today, are entering career fields that may not exist in five and 10 years time. And so the old paradigm of learning uh, is no longer valid. Uh, you do not now go to college and enter a job and stay in that job for the rest of your life. You may change career fields at some point in time in your life. And so it is now incumbent upon you as an individual to take responsibility for that learning rather than saying, I'm going to go to college and the college is responsible for teaching me what I need to know, or I'm going to take a job and my employer is going, responsible for teaching me what I need to know. These days, I am an individual, I am responsible for my life, and I am responsible for becoming a lifelong learner so that I can take responsibility for myself as my life changes. Lifelong Media came about after several conversations with my team. We all noticed that there's a big change in the educational landscape. There is a global shift from printed material to a demand now to have content in a digital format. There are plenty of opportunities to teach students academic skills, but there's really not that many opportunities that students have to learn the soft skills or the human skills that they really need to be able to be successful and to build relationships. These are skills that can help them in their home and, and within the classrooms and in anything else that they do. Everything that they do is context-based, which means that from day one, or from the moment that they're learning the knowledge, they're having the opportunity to apply that knowledge. For example, in our case studies and simulations, not only are they being exposed to new information, but they are having the opportunity to actually apply that information in a lifelike setting. There's a lot of material that we're really excited about developing. One of the first ones that we've started is called the Polka Dot Project and, and our Thoughtful Kids series. Amy and I came up with the Polka Dot Project because we are both advocates for our special needs children. And the Polka Dot Project is going to be great because it's going to help children as well as adults show caring and compassion for special needs children. Many teenagers are having to make lifelong career decisions right from high school. Our A Day in the Life video series and virtual internships will give students a bird's eye glimpse into a profession of their choice and what a typical day on that job is like. To be able to have at your hand and your access to see someone actually in a career, what they go through, the paperwork, um, a day-to-day -day life, a real actual employee, that will be great. The nursing profession is a growing profession and we are super excited about Project Nightingale. Project Nightingale is a resource that's going to help students becoming a nurse and the current practicing nurse to get all of the resources that they need to be successful. But to help people become whatever they're meant to be and they go out into the world and they help so many people. Nurses help tens of thousands of patients you know, through their career. So anytime we help somebody get from being a graduate nurse to a registered nurse or a licensed practical nurse, you know, we've helped those thousands of patients that she wouldn't have, she or he wouldn't have been there for. So I think that's very important. Major government agencies and even corporations are noticing that there is a need for people to develop lifelong skills. And Lifelong Media has been designed with this in mind to be able to bring a real solution and a healthy solution to helping people of all ages continue their learning and most importantly, learn those necessary lifelong human skills that they need to be successful.